Good morning. Today on Spotlight, moving generations of Metro Detroiters forward from preschoolers to college educated adults. Help is on the way if you're ready to do a little homework on your end. This week, we'll be shining our spotlight on Danielle North, Executive Director of Degree Forward, and Jeffrey Miles, Senior Director of Economic Mobility and Social Navigation for the United Way. Their Connect for Care Kids program is getting a lot of attention. It's Sunday, August the 7th. I'm Chuck Stokes, and this is Spotlight. Danielle North, welcome to Spotlight. Uh, first time having you on. It's a pleasure. If I ran into you at a stoplight and I said, in 30 seconds, tell me what Degree Forward is, what would you say? Degree Forward is a nonprofit focused on higher completion rates for working professionals and adults in the college degree space. All right, you passed the test. Uh, <laughs> good news is you'll get more than 30 seconds to really expound upon this. That's uh, the good news. All right. Um, this all came to Detroit and Michigan uh, when? Uh, we launched uh, last November, but we had our first term of students enrolling in October of 2021. And we've been working on it since the beginning of 2021 to bring this uh, really exciting model to the state of Michigan. How great is the need in our area? It's pretty great. Contrary to uh, some of the beliefs that uh, college is in a need, you can just uh, you know, become an entrepreneur or go into all of these different fields and, and be successful. The stats still show that in order to produce an Alice standard uh, uh, salary, uh, college degrees are still the route. And what we're finding is that working professionals, working adults who are in their 20s, 30s, 40s are in their career fields now. And they're finding themselves at an impasse with uh, both promotions and uh, sal salary increases, that degree is the one thing that's standing in their way. And so over 700,000 people in the state of Michigan are checking some college off applications. Um, and so what we're trying to do is service uh, those 700,000 people who haven't completed their degrees. All right, so tell me how the process went. Uh, works. Uh, if I'm interested, what do I do? Do I go to your website? Absolutely. So after you see me on this program, if you say this sounds like the right fit for me, and hopefully it is, you'll go to our website at www.degreeforward.org and you'll click on uh, either one of the links to submit a form. It's not the full application. We'll get back with you so we can explain more about how it works. And uh, I would love to share a little bit here about how the program works. All right. When you get through the program, uh, the million dollar question is, where do you get the degree from? Southern New Hampshire University is the largest accredited online uh, nonprofit college in the nation. Right, very good. Um, this started in Boston? Yeah, so uh, Boston is one of, uh, the Boston Program Duet is one of the pioneering uh, programs such as this that partners with Southern New Hampshire University to help folks who are looking to return to college or start college for the first time with a competency-based program to complete their degree. And that's exactly what this is. And we provide wraparound supports to folks. So I'm sitting here right now in Detroit on Grand River in the North Rosedale Park community at our student center. If you're looking for in-person support, we can provide that to you here. But if you are looking for a completely virtual experience, we can provide everything to you virtually. The curriculum is online, our coaches are online, and even I'm online. How many different cities is this now in? There are over a dozen programs like this in the nation. Across and the nation? Across the nation, and it is growing um, rapidly right now because the need is so great. And you serve all of Michigan or just Metro Detroit here? Actually, how it works, since the program is online, you can even enroll in our program and receive our services if you're out of state. But we are focusing on Metro Detroit in our initial launch right now. But we have uh, students who've applied as far as Bay City 
Michigan. So we have a Michigan focus and we'll be spreading our arms a little further across the state as we grow. Uh, and did I read that there are no tests, no lectures? <laughs> yeah, no tests, no exams, no lectures. So uh, how do you learn? Yeah, and it is a very rigorous model and learning is certainly occurring. So in this project-based model, you're going to work on real life, real world projects that are similar to something that you would do at your job, similar to something that you do for a professional program. Uh, I can give you an example of a scenario with a project. You are new to a company and your boss has asked you to do a presentation on where you previously worked um, and how you believe your prior experience will fit into the culture of this organization. So you're gonna write up a 250 word professional bio, then you're gonna do a PowerPoint presentation that shows um, you know, an example of how you'd be presenting this to your new colleagues. Danielle, we're going to take a quick little pause for the cause. When we come back, I wanna to talk to you about the cost of this program. We'll be right back, stay with us. Welcome back to Spotlight, talking to Danielle North of the Degree Forward program here in Metro Detroit. But as she said, you can access it throughout the entire state. What's the cost? So the program is only $7,000 a year. And if you're fully Pell eligible, it actually covers 98.5% of that tuition, which means you would only have a $105 difference per term if you are fully Pell eligible really affordable uh, a wide array of of uh, topics and fields of endeavor that you can uh, major in so we have a business management program communications and healthcare management and we have aas and ba so you can go on either of those tracks for those three programs soon we're going to be adding a teacher pathway so we're really excited about that uh, which will work with districts in the state uh, to help uh, paras or other individuals in their uh, district who are looking to go the alternative certification route uh, to the teacher uh, certification. You're partnered with Doug Ross on this. Uh, what's his role in this? Those of us who've been around for a while certainly know his name. He's been in and out of state government, uh, U.S. government, and the education circles. Yeah, absolutely. So actually, Doug Ross and Melissa Hammond are my partners in the initiative Diploma Equity Project. And so we are really focused on closing uh, the achievement and a racial gap uh, disparity with college completion in our, in our state. How big and is so the racial that, gap on this in terms of education? Yeah, so right now what um, Duet has been able to do in, in closing that completion rate is that their students are actually graduating uh, 50% um, a completion rate in two years. And so what we're looking to do is actually close that same gap. Um, they are uh, surpassing the state average by double. Um, and that is what our program is actually on track to do with our early success right now. All right, here's a million dollar question. How do other Michigan colleges and universities feel about your program? Is this competition in the education circles for them? The amazing thing about the state of Michigan in which we have been so honored to participate in a collaborative space. Um, we're partnering with Detroit Drives Degrees. We're partnering with MCAN. We're partnering with community colleges and uh, colleges because we all see the need for completion and we know that it is great. And we are focusing on uh, the adult population. Um, our students are going up to age 61. And so they see it complimentary. All of our partners that we've been working with across the state see it as a complementary um, program to the success issue that we are all targeting in the state of Michigan. And that's what's been really, really amazing. Sure. If people are interested in enrolling, is this the time to now do it for the next semester? Yeah, so time is winding up for this term that begins in August. Um, actually, the application deadline is on um, this upcoming week. However, uh, we do have six terms in a year. So our next term is October. So right now is the time to get ready for our, our October term. Yes. All right. Danielle North, thanks for joining us today on Spotlight. Best of luck with the program and we'll stay in touch with you. 
And coming up, Jeffrey Miles of the United Way talks to us about an important program for preschoolers. We'll be right back. Mr. Miles, thanks for joining us today on Spotlight. Quick question, how desperate are parents and caregivers for good child care in Wayne County? We are desperate. Um, the pandemic has really highlighted um, the desperate need for child care, quality child care, most importantly. And unfortunately, we have seen a number of providers leaving the field as well as staff that have gone on to, to other pursuits. And so, you know, there is a limited supply now and, and parents are really desperate to understand first and foremost, what is safe for their children, um, as well as what's gonna give them the best start in life. You're doing all of this up under the banner of Connect for Care Kids uh, and your perch there at United Way. Um, this is one stop shopping. Um, explain to people what that means in terms of how to get the answers they need. Yeah, absolutely. Um, even before the pandemic, the early childhood system was a difficult one to navigate. Information exists across many different websites. There's shifting eligibility. There's multiple programs that families may benefit from. And so what we've tried to do is bring all of that information into one central website, connectforcarekids.org. We've also made this information available via text. Uh, you can text KIDS, K-I-D-S, to 42273. And so we brought all of this to one to a one-stop shop, to use your language, and um, really allow parents to benefit from all of this being in one place. And so Connect for Care Kids can let you determine your eligibility. So are you are your children eligible for Early Head Start, Head Start, the state's four-year-old program, the Great Start to Readiness program, as well as the state subsidy. You can find locations for these providers. So whether you're searching near home or work, um, you can get all of that through our maps or via text. Um, and then we send your information right to providers and they will reach back out to you in a matter of days. We also send you their contact information. So if we send your information to five providers near where you wanna find care, you can go ahead and reach out to them directly. And so really trying to make this as easy as possible for parents. We've also made it available in English, Spanish, and Arabic, understanding we want families to be able to engage with this information in the language they're most comfortable with. So make sure I understand this right and the people out there watching this understand this correctly. This is not a site you go to to enroll in a specific program, a specific child care program. This is to get all of the information that you need, figure out what kind of uh, help you may be qualified for in terms of state funds or anything else. And then once you identify uh, that you're eligible, and you find some place that you think might be a good fit for your kid, then you go to that particular person or agency to enroll. Is that correct? Absolutely. Um, in Wayne County, where this program is currently available, there's 11 different Head Start providers. They have myriad sites. GSRP has hundreds of sites across the county. And so each of them have different enrollment processes. And so our job with Connect for Care Kids is to help you determine which of those programs is the best fit for you, which is close to where you want to receive it. And then to your point, we send your information directly to those providers. They've all agreed to reach back out in a matter of days. Um, but again, we do send you that backup information so you can reach out and then complete the enrollment process directly with those providers. We also make sure that you understand what documentation is going to be required for that enrollment. We send that available on the site. We send that as a reminder along with that contact information. So you're waiting for that call back. You can get all of your documents and affairs in order. Yeah. Do you have to be low income to be able to qualify for this or can you be uh, you know, working parents, obviously with a job. Uh, uh, yeah, middle no, of the road. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you for the question. Income is what most families qualify on, and there are various income thresholds for, for the programs I just mentioned, but um, income is not the only qualifier. And so we have built into our algorithm all of those alternate qualifiers that may include military service, 
if your child has special needs, if you're experiencing homelessness. And so we've been very deliberate to incorporate all of those. And the good news is, is that a lot of that eligibility has expanded upwards. And so families that may not have been eligible even as recently as last year are newly eligible. The child care subsidy um, is now at 185% of the federal poverty level. Now, I also know no one's walking around understanding, you know, do I make 185% of the poverty level or 250% of the poverty level for GSRP? That's why we wanted to design Connect for Care. We take the math out of it for you. We build all of that into, um, into the site. So by answering a couple of questions about your annual income, the size of your family, we can help determine what, you know, where you fall in those income eligibility brackets um, and help select the best fit for you. So we try to make it as easy as possible and no math required. All right, we need to take a quick little break. When we come back, we'll talk about how state funding has played a role in this and uh, just how much impact that pandemic had on the child care business. We'll be right back, stay with us. I know that I've heard Governor Whitmer through the last couple of years tout the fact that she has put more money into the budget for child care. So uh, tell me what gives here. More money has come through from the state, but the pandemic shook a lot of these businesses out. So you have less child care businesses. Is that what's going on? Yeah, initially we did see, uh, again, a number of providers close, but, you know, my hat's off to the governor. She has taken this very seriously from day one. She's surrounded herself with a great team. We've been part of those conversations. Um, and the investment has been significant. You know, United Way and its partners down here have helped over $100 million flow into child care providers in Southeast Michigan. Mm -hmm. Those are really to help stabilize the, the sector and make sure that we don't lose any more. Under her Caring for Michigan's Future plan, the goal is to expand um, with another thousand providers, whether those are new providers or expansion of seats with existing providers. Mm -hmm. Those funds, that's an additional $100 million, is also going to focus on things like facilities, making sure we have safe and quality physical spaces. We're also going to look at startup costs and making sure, you know, starting any new business is expensive, including childcare, and helping defray some of that staff recruitment and retention you know i mentioned a lot of a lot of people have left the field we need to get new folks back in and keep those that are here and so there's millions of dollars going to that and then um you know really focusing on that business development understanding what is the true cost not the deflated cost because we're trying to keep costs low to keep costs low for parents um but really making sure that we understand the regulatory environment and the cost to operate these businesses and supporting providers to that end. You have to be a Wayne County resident to be eligible for this. If you live in Oakland County, Macomb County, Washtenaw, you cannot be a part of this, but there might be something similar in your county. You can always go to greatstarttoquality.org. Um, that is a statewide system that will help anybody find childcare. You can also call 211 and they will get you connected to one of your local resource centers if you do live outside of Wayne County right now. We're in talks to bring this into Macomb soon um, and are looking to, to hopefully expand to Oakland as well. But right now, uh, the Connect for Care Kids is only in Wayne County. That doesn't mean you can't poke around on the eligibility side of things, but we will let you know that you're not currently um, eligible, um, but we will direct you to those other sites as well. So, um, yeah, Wayne County right now. Mr. Miles, parents, caregivers, there's nothing more precious to you than your child. And you want to make sure that when you drop them off at whatever facility it is, that they get the best of care and they are secure and they are protected and they're learning in the process. Um, these child care places that you have up on your website, who does the screening to make sure that you're referring them to quality places? That is uh, thank you for that question. That's a, a fundamental one. Um, you know, I'm a father of a two year old and a four year old myself, and I wasn't even able to go into my ch child's child care facility for months. And so understanding who's out there, making sure that these places are vetted is paramount. The state has LARA, which is the licensing board to make sure they're meeting all of the, the requirements for their licensure. 
And then many, many providers participate in the Great Start to Quality program, which makes sure not only are these places physically safe, but they're meeting the standards of development and really uh, driving kids forward in their growth. And so all of that information you can search for on our site. When you pull up a provider, it'll list if they're uh, part of the state's quality rating system, how many stars they have out of the five star system, you know what programs they do offer. Um, and so you can filter by all of those things, get that information. We also have a list of questions that you should be asking as a parent um, that your provider should be able to answer. You know, what is their COVID safety plan? What is their backup plan for when staff go out? Um, and so we help parents really understand, you know, what those providers look like and then what additional questions they could be asking to, to get the answers they're looking for to feel comfortable. Yeah, I probably should have asked you this at the very top of the show um, in a little bit of time that we have left. What's the average cost for child care? Um, for a family of four in Michigan, it's about $1,100. It is the number one cost for a family of four. And so getting connected to these low or no cost programs can absolutely change a family's dynamic, make other things more affordable. And, and that's the other beauty of Connect for Care Kids is once we help you deal with the child care, and we heard very clearly, when I'm looking for child care, don't hit me with utility assistance or any of these other things, mm -hmm. but we do offer additional supports and services through the program. About 75% of our families are opting in. So we're really looking to help families save um, across the board, but it is a significant cost savings if you enroll now and get into one of these subsidized programs. All right, and if you're looking for something for, uh, for the fall, this is the time that you ought to be getting on that website right now. Absolutely. It's the time to be making that plan, getting contacts out there and making a backup plan and a backup plan to the backup plan. Uh, one quick final question. Say you don't have access to a computer in your home. What should you do? Is this something that you can do on your mobile phone? Pretty much everybody has mobile phone, but there are people who don't have them. Or do you just you know, got to go to your public library? What do you suggest? Yeah, no, digital equity was incredibly important when we designed this. And so you can do all of this via text. We know even if you don't have internet access that you can uh, most likely receive text. And so again, if you text kids to 42273, you can start that eligibility check and do the location finder. If you do want to have your information sent, you do need to go to the website, but you can also call, um, call us directly. And we have folks that are standing by on the line that can help you over the phone. Good enough. Jeffrey Miles with the United Way, thanks so much for joining us today on Spotlight and sharing all this very important information that parents and caregivers ought to be thinking about right now in the midst of summer before it's time to uh, drop the kids off while you go make sure you go back to work. Uh, I'm Chuck Stokes. We'll be back next week with more newsmakers in the Spotlight. We hope you have a great week.